you need to stop taking anything that says enriched. Enriched sounds good, but it's horrible. That means they take rock form of iron, rock iron, and add it to white flour, pasta, bagels, pancakes, waffles. And guess what that rock iron do? The rock iron, when it goes in your body, it clogs your liver. Your liver function is vital, right? It's for toxicity. One of the things that your liver converts, it converts T4 to T3 hormones that your thyroid gland requires. So your thyroid has the T4, it has to convert to T3 in your liver. If you have rock form of iron by having enriched foods, this does not take place. So it affects your metabolism, it affects your feelings, it affects your energy. Fibromyalgia patients and thyroid patients, 98% of the thyroid patients that I have, they have fibromyalgia as well. 95% of the fibromyalgia patients, they have a thyroid problem. I know what it looks at their liver. If your liver is shot, the conversion of T4 to T3, it's not going to happen. It does not take place. So you take thyroid pills that your doctor gave you that, fo that focuses on your thyroid. You take it for how long? For the rest of your life. And that's why we need to treat the whole body if you want to stop taking the medications that you're taking. If you're suffering from insomnia, I assure you. If you're suffering from sleep problem, I assure you that your adrenal glands are shot. Adrenal glands are on top of your kidneys. And what they do, they produce adrenaline. Adrenaline holds, one of its job is to hold a magnesium in your blood. When your adrenal glands do not function and it's under stress, they also call it a stress gland. Magnesium does not stay in your blood. And that is why you're in pain, because magnesium is important for your muscles and bones and joints. If you don't have magnesium, that's why your body goes in pain. That's why when we give you the supplements, the amino acids, the magnesium supplements, you start feeling better. You see, many chronic conditions, especially thyroid, diabetes, fibromyalgia patients, they have thyroid problem, at least 50% of them know about it. 50% of these patients who suffer from a thyroid problem, they don't even know about it because they go to their doctor. Their doctor just does basic, basic tests, TSH. They don't even do T3 and T4. Some doctors do TSH, T3, and T4. They don't do thyroid antibodies. Because thyroid antibodies, they're good for, they are required on a different organ of the body. Not to mention, the blood ranges, they're made for sick people. That's an, another video. I'm going to touch on it a little bit. The blood ranges that we have the normal versus abnormal, they are made for sick people, not healthy people. So what happens, we are looking at functional ranges which are a lot more narrower than the blood broad ranges that's given. 